In this tutorial, we're going to have a look at the basic RED workflow for Final Cut Pro using the RED Cine X tool. RED 1 is capable of producing footage at up to 4K in various frame rates, so the workflows vary depending on the post-production requirements. Here, we are looking at material shot for UK television in 4K 16x9 format at 25 frames per second. In order to complete these transcodes, you need to go to the RED support website and download the RED Cine X tool. This is freely available from the RED website. Once installed, you will have everything you need to transfer your footage. First, let's have a look at the folder and file structure the RED produces. Inside each folder, you will notice five files. The first is the R3D file, which is the actual RED media, and then there are four QuickTime proxy files, which offer four size options. It's important that you retain the file structure in order to use the transfer tools. It's also important in some workflows to retain the original file names as you may need to refer back to the 4K files for conforming. However, for these workflows, it's assumed that the transcoded QuickTime files will become the master files. We recommend you back up before beginning this transfer process. The Red Cine X tool offers considerably more functionality than the Final Cut Pro Log and Transfer tool. Initially, the interface may look unfamiliar, and we're just going to run through some of the more basic features. Over here on the right are the color grading adjustments. They're very comprehensive, curves, gamma, um, gains, um, normal things like saturation, contrast, brightness, exposure. One thing to bear in mind is that any adjustments that you make here are non-destructive. You're only changing metadata. The red files are not affected directly. Down the bottom here is a timeline histogram and some pretty familiar looking colour wheels. First of all, open a folder that contains your red files. We can just choose this batch here. And you'll see that the bin area then is populated with thumbnails of your clips. If we just open a viewer and select a clip, you can see it in the viewer window there. I'll just drag this a little larger. Here you can play the clips. You'll notice at the top here that we've got this set to a quarter resolution. You could also select half or full resolution. However, if we select half resolution, you'll notice that the playback isn't very smooth. To play back 4K files in real time, you would likely need a red rocket card to accelerate the playback. Full resolution is useful though for making grading decisions. OK, let's have a look at making some very basic colour adjustments using the Red Cine X tool. Just to give you a flavour of some of the things that you can do here, I'm just going to make a couple of adjustments. Let's just increase the contrast of this clip. Hopefully you can see there the contrast increasing quite nicely. Also, I'm just going to make an adjustment to the exposure. I'll just make quite a big adjustment there so you can see it getting brighter and, and darker. In terms of colour balance, there's RGB controls. You can also use curves to adjust the picture. Um, if I just grab this here and pull it down, you can see I'm adjusting the luminance curve there. But there's also red, green and blue controls for the curves as well. I'll just make this a little bit smaller so you can see some of the other functionality. Um, got colour wheels here, just make some pretty dramatic adjustments just so you can see what's happening. Also got a histogram here, just move that over there. Generally it's better to work with two monitors just because it's a little less uh, crowded. But if I move this control brightness up and down, you can see the histogram there changing to reflect our adjustments. And as I said before, all of these adjustments are non-destructive. We are merely changing the metadata of these clips and not the clips themselves. Okay, so that's a very quick run through of just the basics, giving you a flavor of some of the functions in Red Cine X. Next, let's have a look at the transcoding basics. Over on the left side, you'll see the export tab. If you click that, the export presets window opens. Now, if this is the first time you've used Red Cine X, you won't have any presets here. There's one here that we've used before. So I'll just quickly run through how you can make a transcoding preset. Just click the plus button and you can name your preset there. You can pick the export file type. We're going to select QuickTime. 
and then set up and video and run up to Apple ProRes 4444 and in our case 25 frames per second. Obviously if you wanted to pick a different codec or different frame rate you'd do so there. Next the frame size 1920 1080 because we want our quick times to be HD and then the debayer settings. For 4K files half premium is a good setting when going to HD. If you select anything above that the transcoding takes a long time for very little extra gain. Next just set the output location uh, if we do clip name to selected folder and then we can select the output folder here that we want our files to go to. I'm just going to create a new folder here and we'll call it red exports and then choose. We can see the location there and then just click OK. So I'm just going to select clip in player here to export you can actually select the whole bin or the timeline or other locations there and you can see the file transcoding. Now that clip is roughly 12 seconds long and that's going to take around a minute to transcode from 4K to an HD 1920 1080 QuickTime file. So if you have a lot of files to transcode you can see this is going to be quite a lengthy process. Once the file's finished simply go to your export folder and import your clips into Final Cut in the normal way. And that's the basics of the Red Cine X tool.